Hello there. This is MD here with you on Saskiano. Here we go again. We are in a new tutorial. In this Adobe After Effects tutorial. I am gonna show you. How to add rain to video. In Adobe After Effects. If you are interested. Stay tuned. Let's start with. Working in the standard workspace. Import your footage. And place it in a new composition. Rename the footage layer. Foreground plate. Add a solid on top. From the layer menu. New. Then choose solid. And name it. Foreground rain. In the solid settings dialog box. Click the chip color. Set it to black. And click OK. Click OK again to close the dialog box. Switch the mode for the foreground rain layer. From normal to screen. If you don't see the mode column. Toggle the switches modes button. At the bottom of the timeline panel. Then. Go to the effects and presets panel. If you can see it. Go to the window menu. And choose effects and presets. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut for it. Here on Windows. Control plus 5. And Command plus 5. On the Mac. And type. Rainfall. In the search field. Drag the CC or rainfall effect to the foreground rain layer. Change the effects settings. In the effect controls panel. Depending on how hard you want the raindrops to fall. How much rain you want visible in the scene. Whether it's showering or drizzling, and so on. Size and speed have a noticeable effect. So experiment with those until the rain looks right to you. Play the sequence. If the rain looks fine, you're done. But, you may wish to add some depth to the scene. Let's see how we can do it. With the foreground plate layer selected, activate the pen tool. And draw a mask around whatever defines the foreground in your scene. Expand the mask one layer by pressing M on your keyboard and add some feathering. Scrub the timeline. If anything happens to stray outside the static mask, click the stopwatch next to mask path and then reposition mask path points as necessary to contain the foreground objects as they move. This may take several minutes to complete accurately. Add a second mask to the foreground plate layer to include non-contiguous objects in the same plane. Duplicate the foreground plate layer by pressing Command or Control plus D and rename the copy. Background plate. Duplicate the foreground rain layer and rename it. Background rain. Stack the layers as follows. 1. Foreground rain. 2. Foreground plate. 3. Background rain. 4. Background Plate. Select the Background Plate layer. Press M and delete the mask on that layer. By pressing Delete key on your keyboard. 
select the background rain layer and adjust the CC rainfall effects settings in the effect controls panel to account for generally smaller drops falling more slowly since they're farther away. Preview the composition. Depending on your scene, consider keyframing CC rainfall settings from small to large or vice versa to simulate the onset of a cloudburst or of rain tapering off. Now, the last step to make this rain look like more realistic. Select the background rain and keyframing its opacity. And do the same thing for the foreground rain. Let's see the result. What do you think? Is that cool? Finally, let's save our project before exporting our video. Go to the file menu and choose save as and select the path and give your file a name like add rain to video then hit save and then Let's export our video. Go to the composition menu and choose add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Ctrl plus Alt plus M here on Windows. Or Command plus Option plus M on the Mac. Choose the format from here and the preset form here. And from here select the path that you want to save your video in. And give it a name if you want. Finally hit the green button. And here is the final result. And here we go. We are done for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comments section. Also, if you are interested in Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Illustrator, InDesign, DaVinci Resolve, and so on, make sure to take a look at our first channel. Everything PS. See you next time.